welcome back to the Unicat YouTube channel where we see inquisitive and intelligence today I'll be assisting you guys on how to set up yourself and get running at Ghana's premier communication university that is GIG being admitted into the university I'll be showing you guys how to transform the information given to you to seat yourself by making sure that your account is secured and prevents instances whereby people will be having access to your information without your notice I believe probably you've all received um, information relating to yourself on how to assess um, teaching and learning services by the institution before I start make sure you have your internet connection in your web browser now let me put this across the web browser recommended by GIG is Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge why because the architecture and the tools used by the school to develop the website is provided by these two companies Google and Microsoft so make sure when you are accessing the website from anywhere you use these two websites other websites are out Microsoft um, Edge or Google Chrome Mozilla Firefox Phoenix and all other browsers won't give you the maximum performance of the website thereby making you experience challenges as you assess the website before we start make sure to subscribe like share comment and most importantly don't forget to share to your friends for them to also benefit from the relevant information you are getting here and hit the notification button to be notified when new stuffs are being released by this channel Unicats where we see inquisitive and intelligence so without much ado let's start so from here you search jij.edu.gh to lead you straight to the website of the university you can access GIJ to the messenger GIJ SIS from these two areas from academics and uh, academic services or from quick links that is the best way to go so you will be looking at these two things GIJ LMS and GIJ SIS for now we focus on GIJ LMS the other things you see will be covered in a subsequent tutorial so anticipate for them so you click on GIJ LMS GIJ LMS now since the security is so tight on GIJ that is why I told you to use these browsers with the other browsers you might not access the website so make sure you use the, the browsers recommended so when you get this page don't be amazed it's just that the connect the connection there is secured so you click on the advance here then you go and proceed to GIJ LMS now from here press click um, please click to log in to GIJ LMS you do that good I have my dad so don't don't be scared um, you have to fill in your details so for the purposes of this tutorial I'll be using my and show you guys how to go about it you probably uh, probably have to follow the same procedures I will be showing here and you are good to go so you fill in the, the email given to you that is your index at student.dij.edu.gh again your index at student.dij.edu.gh then your password so as a fresher you are only given a default password the 
because i'm here to show you how to convert that default password modify that default password to your own preferred password to keep your account secured so you type in that default there that default password how do you go about it you copy it directly from the source that is the file given to you by the school authority which contains your information that is your username your name your password and your email address make sure you copy that password from there then you just paste it here with mine i will i have to enter it here so i'm doing that just kindly make sure you also follow suit by copying the default password from where it is and pasting it here but with your email address make sure you type it because if you don't type it you will not be able to access it so when you are done if the um, device you are accessing it from is for you you can take on remember username if not you can turn it off that is mine so i can turn it on then you click on login good you'll be created with the home page that is a dashboard so there's the dashboard and this is how gij lms looks like so where are you going to change your password a tutorial will be made on how to navigate this um, dashboard for now we are focusing on uh, changing the password so let's go straight in so the button you see here you click on it to give you this um, drop down list you go down to preferences then you scroll down user account and by user account you can edit profile we are not going to do that in this tutorial this is what we are interested in so change password good so you enter your current password now for you the first are watching this your current password is a default password given to you by the school authority so as you did when you log it in you did the same thing you copy from the source then you paste it here with my instance i have to type it so but make sure you copy from the source and paste it here that is with yours now when you are creating your new password this is how GIG um, LMS accepts password being created by you it must have a special character and when you talk about special character it must begin with a special character that is it um, a special character may include dot question mark full stop at hashtag star plus these are special characters and it must also contain alphabets beginning with an uppercase letter so you can use one of your names then you uppercase the first letter then you follow by numbers as all password requires a mixture of um, alphanumeric keys so numbers you follow with your numbers which number you want to continue with you can use your um, date of birth if you want so that's how the idea password is being set up and recognized by the GIG LMS and all other systems. It must have a special character like at full stop and the rest. It must begin your um, alphabet, that is, your letters must begin with an uppercase letter, then you end it with numbers. That is how the password works here. So, after you are done filled all these um, sections filling your current password as the default password given to you by the school you create your new password as i've showed you and explained, as explained to you then you um, confirm the new password which you've created after that you press on save click on save
good so as you can see i've been greeted with the information that password has been changed continue you are done with changing your password but make sure you have it somewhere safe to, um, to make sure that you have it anytime and not to forget it that is why i said if you if you don't want to forget it you can activate the login um, remember username and password so that you log out good so we are now going to DIG SIS so back to the home page of the website and the quick links you go to DIG SIS good this is the login page you type in your username which is your index given to you which is your index given to you then your password this, this will be probably your default password so you just copy and paste it here but when you type in the username make sure you type it with the password you copy and paste it there i will be typing right here so this section where it says hello your index number this is yours might be properly probably different from mine so you click on that good it will lead you to this place you type in your current password your current password is your um, default password you just copy and paste it here then you can you create a new password as you wish to and after you are done click on change password good your password has been changed successfully so if you don't want, if you want to um, keep your system remembering the thing for you you can say save password my I've already saved it that is why it's asking me to update password so you do that if it's not for you you just click on no thanks so after you are done you can go back to the home and you can log off successfully Good. So this was basically how to go about it by setting up yourself as a fresher of this institution. Make sure you do that because if you continue to use your default password, someone might be having access to your information without your notice. Kindly make sure you change your password to your liking and stay safe. Once again, welcome to Ghana's Premier Communication University and hope to see you around in the next tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Mini Cats. Comment, like, share, uh, and hit the notification button in order to be notified when new information are being released in the form of tutorials. Hope to see you guys around some other time. Goodbye, Unicats, Inquisitive and Intelligence.